I've run the gamut between being more of a craftsperson, making furniture, being an artist, making sculpture and things that are really expressive. I, I perform. And all of these things, especially now, are becoming increasingly cathartic. Um, the work that I'm showing tonight and the work that's out there right now has been the result of kind of a darker period right now where I'm processing a lot of uh, concerns or thought about death and a lot of the pain that's alive in this world right now and the confusion that I have about it. And this, this work for me is how I start to work through some of those things and, and make sense of them for myself. And part of me doing that, I'm also showing that process for myself to the people that, that see my work. Right now, the work that I'm making is very much about transformation. It's very much about releasing some of the old patterns and the old ways of being in the world that haven't been serving me and finding new levels of honesty, new levels of reality, new levels of understanding. And then also being really comfortable with not understanding a lot of what's happening in the world right now, a lot of what's happening even in my own life right now. Um, and it takes for me, right now, willingness to be really raw and really exposed and really vulnerable. And I feel brave in that and saying, you know, this is what needs to come out right now in my work. This is what I have to say right now. And I'm just going to say it and take, it, take a chance on it. It also feels a little scary, but it feels really necessary to be moving in this direction with my work. And I just hope that people can see that and appreciate that and resonate with that and find, find something, some similarity or sympathy in the, for themselves. But I don't want to just say, okay, I only make furniture. I only do this kind of sculpture. Um, my goal right now is to um, to create work that would be in a gallery that could stand on its own in that kind of setting and possibly even do performances as a part of that. Imagine it all on fire. <laughs> For me, I'm most interested in the relationship that people can build with the work that I make. So it's not really just about, you know, putting it on a wall or you know, setting it up in your house. It's more about having something that you can actually create a relationship with over time, a piece that you interact with, a piece that, that grows in meaning towards you as you bring your own life and your own story to it. So in terms of the performance pieces, you have this object and you see it and it's sitting out there right now and no one's really interacting with it. They're just kind of looking at it like, what is this? Well, after the performance and after they see the possibility of this thing, they have a whole new understanding of what the potential of this piece is. And having seen it in performance, it has a different, a whole different character that it's picked up, a different meaning that it's picked up because of that experience. And as, as a little girl, I was very much involved in music and dance and art. And then gradually, visual arts just became the predominant area of focus for me, even the dance was also still very important to me. And sort of how I express myself. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely, um, you know, everything that you ever want to do in the shop always takes two or three times longer than you think it will. <laughs> so, you know, and then there's, for me, um, you know, I work a lot out and I learn a lot about a piece as I'm making it. So even though I might have a sketch or a drawing or even a full-size sketch of what I want to create, that changes and is informed by the process. So halfway through a piece, I can see, wow, this, this, was, this was great, but if I add this, it's going to have that whole other level. It's going to have that whole new layer. It's going to just be something totally more, totally different. So, 